Spiritual gifts, what are they? Are they something that are actually truly gifts, or are they something we can develop? Hey guys, John here. I am about two hours away from doing my Friday night live stream, and I thought I'd make this video because I get a lot of questions from people about spiritual gifts, finding their spiritual gifts, finding their purpose, you know, finding that spiritual uh, connection. It's an interesting aspect because spiritual gifts are not something that are given to you. And the word gift is sort of a misnomer because the reality of it is, is that everyone has the ability. It's just our awareness and our what else is in our mind and our belief system that keeps us from seeing them. I, you know, in my, in my time, I've had a lot of various experiences. I've, I've done full body channeling. I've done out of body travels. I've done astral travels. I've done um, mediumship in a, in a small way. Um, I definitely have been clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient, had experiences like that. But my focus when I do that work is, is to open up to the oneness of God and whatever the information is coming through is going to be coming through in whatever form it needs to take. So I'm not focused on one branch or one uh, mode of receiving information. Now, there are people who are, who are amazingly clairsentient. They just know things and things come out of their mouth. There are other people who, who literally see the dead and see experiences. I personally, I see video clips in my head when I talk to people. Um, it's, it's like I'm watching the video. Um, I will sometimes hear my name being called or I'll hear words that form into my head. And I, and I, hear, I say hear, but it's actually like listening to somebody else's thoughts. Um, sometimes that will happen. But my focus is to be open to any information that's coming through. You know, there are certain people who, are, who focus their, their intention on being a medium per, per se. So like John Edwards, he's an amazing medium. But he is focused on being a medium. He, his, he has chosen to believe and focus on being, um, that he is a medium and focus on being a medium. And so he's very clear that he's talking to people on the other side. And that's by staying very focused on that, I'm, he's getting that very clear. And there's a, it, it's an amazing thing because you can, I'm sure he gets other ways of hearing information as well, but, and, and other aspects of it as well. But his, he is very focused on mediumship. Um, the, the, mo the second most gifted medium I've ever known is a woman named Deanna Fitzpatrick. And um, she's from Delaware. And um, <laughs> unbeknownst to her, my mom has come through her four or five times. My father came through her once. And um, she didn't know, you know, that it was the same person. My sister would go. My other sister would go. I would go. And, and she would never know who she was reading, but it was definitely our mom that came through and my father came through. And the last time my mom came through Deanna, she actually told my sister to tell me happy birthday. Um, so, but Deanna is very focused on being a medium. And, and by putting her focus on being a medium, she's very good at it. She's ex exceptional at it. And uh, I will leave a, a link in the description below for her YouTube channel, go over there and subscribe and just watch some of the things that she gets. She's a, she's a pretty amazing and gifted person. And I say gifted because she has chosen that to that focus. She is focused on being a medium. And so because of that, she's very clear medium because she's creating that pathway that she's choosing that. Um, people will often ask me to connect to their, their loved ones who've crossed over. I'm not focused on mediumship, so I'm my focus really is on the person I'm talking to, and how to break them free from the anchors of their of their past beliefs and experiences, and getting them to change their lives in, into profound and unique ways and create more love in the world. That's kind of what I'm I really do, but I, I but I get this information. But if you're if you really want to talk to somebody who's crossed over, you need to find somebody who's very focused on mediumship, like Deanna Fitch. Patrick or John Edwards even, um, because they, you know, the, they have, are dedicating their time to being a medium, which means they're much more clear. You know, when I get information that comes through 
uh, from someone who's crossed over, I get these little snippet lines. Like I had one person who said, you know, you are truly scrumptious, come to find out that was the song her dead husband used to sing to her from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And so I had no idea, right? But to me, I'm not focused that way. But the other thing is, is, is if you want to awaken to any of these, these ways of hearing, it's all channeling. Now, what is channeling? Channeling is bringing information from the greater consciousness into the physical consciousness. That's all channeling is. When you hear clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentience, mediumship, all those things, those are just aspects of channeling. Those are, it's like when in Hinduism you have you know, one God, but if you want to focus on abundance, you go to Lakshmi or to Ganesh, right? You focus onto that one area. That's what mediumship is. It's focused on the one area of communication with the dead. So it really comes down to if you want to open those gifts, the first thing you have to do is know that it's possible, know that that information is there, and, and, and let go of any belief in self-doubt or self-worth that are holding you back from that experience, and let go of any belief of, of that a religion may have given you about that kind of work because – you know, all of all of those pathways, religion and even New Age thought, when you look at it, they're giving you a structure that you can't deviate from. But the connection to source has no structure. It's just open up and you focus what you focus on you receive, what you believe you receive. And so when you're focusing on being a medium, then you get mediumship. When you focus on being a clairvoyant, you get you know, clairvoyance and clairsentience, clairaudience. And it really comes down to you deciding that it's not a gift. It's your, it's your general nature. It's who you are. And coming back to that nature and letting everything else go and saying, I am doing this. I am a medium. I am a clairvoyant. I am a clairsentient. I am a clairaudient. I, all these various paths, right? I... I say I'm open to oneness, which means I'm, I'm basically opening to all of it to say however it comes through, comes through. Now, maybe if I would focus in on one, that I would, may, might even get more clarity. But I, um, for what I do, I'm very happy with, with what does come through. But if you want to awaken to your spiritual gifts, um, then what I would suggest is exhale. Let everything go and declare the gift that you want to experience. I am a medium. Bam. And then start actually paying attention and start trusting what you're hearing. Start believing what you're saying because it's the self-doubt and the self-worth that you are doing it that limits you from actually experiencing it. But if, if you're looking for someone to, to speak to the dead for you, I am. 100% wholeheartedly recommend Deanna Fitzpatrick. And uh, like I said, I'll leave her YouTube channel in the description below. And um, you just search Deanna Fitzpatrick, D-E-A-N-N-A Fitzpatrick, Deanna Fitzpatrick, uh, F-I-T-Z-P-A-T-R-I-C-K. <laughs> uh, but I'll leave the link below. <coughs> Go check her out. You'll see her on stages and in various stages in Delaware, reading people in the audience. And um, I think you'll be impressed. She's impressed me multiple times because she has come through with real information from my mom and from my father. And uh, it was all validating. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to hop on and have this conversation, tell you a little bit about Deanna and talk to you about your the things that limit you from experiencing these gifts, and I keep putting quotes around it because I don't think they're gifts. I think they are truly your nature. It's just the awareness and the acknowledgement of it that lets us experience it. So that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.